Already? Come again, yeah? Good day. Are you accepting a request? Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Hmm? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. Hey, what's that umbrella for? Ah, I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way to the geishas? You think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Junpei. area 
outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Great! This is the courtyard. Wanna go out for a walk later, I guess? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip... Hmm... Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man... Man... Well, come on, let's hustle. Hey there. Hey, what's up? Uh-huh. Check this at the hot sp Are you seriously trying to Of course not! Close your eyes. Give it up. Give up? And you call yourself a- You're the only- What? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the- You're right. Why? Is this not a- This is- Ugh. Oh, behold. Come on in. Anything catch- Much appreciated. Just kidding. I only hope. Hey there, Odagiri. Uh, there's so. No, I haven't. Had... There's nothing left. Aren't those snacks supposed to. Oh, really? <sighs> I figured. I'll just pretend they're.
If you want to know more about the trip, you can find the deep. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki, and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> you know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point... Believing in my dad was all I had. 
Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started. That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake. And for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. for me. Oh, do you? And do you? Of course I do. That's the pro- Do you know what this- The rest of our- Look, man. It's- I don't know what happened. I was looking forward to... Yeah, it was some of the older... I'm glad you were there. Nevertheless, it was a... Yeah, even the, the way you took charge... Have you ever considered... Huh? Uh, let's head to the hot springs. He looked just just 
snap. Hey there. Thanks. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, we're forced to help each other in order to survive? But look at everyone around us. They all genuinely like each other, don't they? They want to be together. They're not being forced. That doesn't add up. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. 
If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided. But it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. All we ever there's just where is the that's all you ever wow look at what this is the first time i have although it sup what i'll grab sonata san and ryoji so you can head back to the room and get ready Hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others. No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge! Oh, shit! Wow, you're right! It's as big as a swimming pool! So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky room! Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? 
Mitsuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! Mitsuru and I guess are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? Why is it red? Can explain later. Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. No, hang on. We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that. Oh, so much confidence. You're like a natural-born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with you. All right, let's move. Hmm? <sighs> no, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, obviously! How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Ugh, I don't know how, but we made it out. All thanks to you. One wrong step. And Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where'd Junpei and Mochizuki go? Huh? Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. <laughs> Guess they got what was coming.
Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you reflecting on? Huh? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Mm. This secret stays between us. Got it? You guys better take it to the grave. Hmm.